Good morning guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, we're doing something really fun. Now, if you've been subscribed to my channel for a while, you know I've attempted to do this like two or three times. I will link those videos down below, but I always seem to get there late, or when everything's closing, or when it starts to rain, or something happens every time I try to go to this. Let me tell you what it is, I don't even know why I haven't said it yet, but I'm going to a horse yard sale, like an equestrian yard sale. It's huge, it's epic, it's so cool. They sell a bunch of stuff, tack, clothes, boots, saddles, they literally sell everything. Everything. So we're gonna go we're gonna see what we find and hopefully it, it's all still there If you guys want to watch all the other videos of my attempts Well, I, I honestly I can't say that because I did see stuff I did buy stuff all the other times that I've gone I did little hauls for you So if you guys want to watch that I'll leave those videos down below But anyway before we go I really 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 want to say thank you to you guys like what the heck my mind is blown I know I've gotten so many new subscribers. So thank you so much for choosing to subscribe. Welcome. Welcome to my channel guys We have like what 50,000 subscribers that's crazy so thank you so much I really really do appreciate it I'm glad that you guys have been enjoying my videos thank you for thumbsing up thumbsing up is that a word like thank you for giving me thumbs okay I don't know you guys know what I'm trying to say in conclusion thank you so much for subscribing and I hope you continue to enjoy my channel yeah okay but I'm just blabbering now let's go Okay, I've decided to come up with this plan of really just writing down the things that I'm interested in so that when I go over there I'm not like overwhelmed with all the options and all the stuff that they have. Let's go through my list. Okay, so the first thing is a saddle pad. I want to try and find a new saddle pad. I mean, it doesn't have to be new. Use is fine. You know what I mean? Like new to me. So that's the first thing. I also want to see if I can find, um, I forgot my list. You see, this is what happens when you don't write things down. Okay, I remembered. Show shirts, like those button-up collared show shirts. I mean, I don't need a lot, but maybe just one if I find a cool one. Ooh, a breastplate, an English breastplate. Wink, wink. I think that's what you call a breast collar in English terms. Breastplate, I think. Maybe a halter. And one of those cool blankets to put on saddle pads. You can see them a lot at raining shows and stuff like that. People have like those cool blankets. And that's it. That's my list, I think. But you know how it is. You go to these places with a list, and then you see stuff that you like. It might not be on your list, but you get it anyway. That might happen. All right, let's head out. Because I'm late, I'm late, I'm late. It's already 11.30 and it ends at 2. I hope this is early enough. Okay, there is literally no parking. There's cars parked all over the grass, across the street. So I think that's a good sign. I think that means we're on time and that people are still selling stuff. <laughs> shopping spree was a success I got a lot of stuff I didn't get everything on my list but I definitely got more than I expected to get I literally negotiated my butt off I, I got good deals I have to run one more errand before I head home and show you guys everything I got so the errand I had to run was just pick up some more calf milk calf milk replacer I always say cow milk and then people are like wait what I mean cow milk replacer <laughs> I buy it from rural king so I'm just gonna hop in grab some of that if you guys didn't know I did get new baby calves I've sort of like mentioned it here and there in my recent videos Actually, I think a barn vlog is going up before this so you might have already met them But if you haven't they're called Penelope and Delilah. They're the cutest little baby girls I've had to bottle feed them. They were bottle babies So I've literally had them since they were four days old That's why I have to buy milk replacer and it's just like a powder and I mix it with water They run out of it fast. So I have to head inside and get some more <laughs> to get these cream. 
creative shots for you guys and the camera just doesn't cooperate. <laughs> I got the cow milk and I got some water. I really needed it. The Florida heat is kicking in. What's the temperature right now? It's 81. You know what? I shouldn't be complaining. That's not that bad because it gets like 99 here. With the humidity, it just feels like it's like 150 degrees. But anyway, I'm actually meeting up with Sabrina for lunch. Her horse had her full and oh, we're gonna get to see it. I have to start getting prepared for this, learning as much as I can now because in a year, we're gonna have our own full. Let's head on over. All right, I am here at Sabrina's place. He's so cute. Oh my goodness, hi. Dixon, he is the cutest. Look at him. Oh, oh my goodness. Cuddles is what you want. Just cuddles all the time. Guys, I just lost my keys. Spent three hours looking for it. I lost my keys, but Sabrina found them in the randomest spot. You're not gonna believe where I put them. What the heck? I would have never found them, Sabrina. Like, look at them. Do you guys even see them in there? <laughs> anyway, we have the keys. Now we're gonna go grab something to eat. Oh, and I didn't even mention that I'm with Sabrina. Hi. <laughs> and Mason. Who are you talking to? <laughs> <laughs> Mason, there's something called a, a YouTube thing. You know what, what YouTube is? Trust you know, me. You know what YouTube is? You know what YouTube is? Say, do you know about what do you go on? Here, TikTok? Here. Oh, he's on TikTok? Oh, he's TikTok. on TikTok. You're on Dude, TikTok? He's famous on go, TikTok. Go, go, TikTok. Do it for the t Oh! <laughs> <laughs> He's so cute. We came to eat and this place is so cute. I've never been here before. Sabrina says it's really good. Look how pretty. It's so cute. What do you usually order? I forgot. Something with chicken. <laughs> Dude, how cute. I'm so full right now. I'm eating like a mint. So I'm sorry if I look weird because I have a mint in my mouth Anyway, I'm about to head home and do a little haul for you guys I tossed everything in the back so you can't see it anymore But I'll show you everything that I got once I get to my house All right, you guys I am back home and I'm finally ready to do a little haul for you and show you guys the things that I got today At this epic equestrian yard sale seriously. This place is the coolest place ever I'm so glad that they have it more than once a year It's just regular people setting up tents and selling all their tack things that they don't use anymore or things that they just want to get rid of. It was amazing. There was so much stuff, so much to choose from. You can easily get overwhelmed. So that's why I did my list. Even with the list, it definitely is overwhelming because there's just so much stuff, but I think I got most of the stuff on my list. So one of the main things I wanted was a saddle pad, and I actually got two. Now here's the thing, I struggled to negotiate. I struggled to do that, but I really pushed myself today. I was like, you know what? You're gonna go over there and you're gonna negotiate. You don't have to pay the price that's on the ticket. Anyway, let's go ahead and show you the first thing I negotiated on. Here's the first thing, a saddle pad. I actually got two, which I'll show you in a second. This is an impact gel saddle pad. It is is used as you guys can tell like there's a lot of wear over here the inside is still pretty dirty as you can see I have to do a lot of cleaning I asked the guy how he suggests I clean it he says to use a pressure washer so I'm gonna try and do that there's a lot of horse hair under there I think he was selling it for like 40 bucks which is still a good deal I honestly don't know what these go for generally as for a new one but I know that 40 bucks was a really good deal but like I said I still wanted to negotiate so he ended up giving it to me for 25 bucks and oh my god I can't believe I got it for 25 bucks like what it's so so pretty it does stink though it's, it stinks and it needs a deep clean. But yeah, this is the first thing. Next, I'll show you the second saddle pad I got. I saw this one as soon as I was walking in. I was gonna get it and then I'm like, you know what, you're just walking in. You better walk around, look at everything first and then at the end of it's still there, maybe you can get it. This is a classic equine contorpedic saddle pad. This is what it looks like. Again, it is pretty used, but I think it's still in good condition. The bottom, I forgot what this material is called. I've been trying to remember all day, but I just can't remember what this is called. 
called. Anyway, I really liked it. I like the ones that contour. I don't know if I've ever mentioned that before, but I like pads that contour. Um, and this one's called the Contour Pedic. And again, the guy was selling this for 40 bucks, and I was able to get it for 25. I really, really like it. I hope it fits well on the horses. But yeah, I think I did good. I think I did good with the saddle pad. Put a check mark next to that on my list because we got it done. Two saddle pads, 25 bucks each. That is crazy, I know. Next up, show shirts. So I talked about wanting to get a show shirt and I actually got one. It's really different, it's very unique, but I like it. Reminds me of my Hispanic roots. Here it is. It has a bunch of roses here on the front as well as a little bit on the back up here. It reminds me of like, um, just like the shows they put on in Colombia of people like on Pasofinos. Like I said, it just reminds me of like my Hispanic side. So I thought it was really cool. It is a tiny tiny bit big like a teeny tiny bit big I was like you know what I'm just gonna get it anyway it was just so unique she was actually selling this for 10 bucks I asked if she'd take eight she said yes so she took eight bucks for this which I think was pretty good should I try it on for you guys I think I'm gonna try it on for you guys just so you can see really quick I didn't even get to see it I actually asked her if she could take a picture of me like I gave her my phone because there was no mirrors around and I really wanted to see what it would look like so she took a picture of it I remember I saw the picture and I was like ah uh, you know what it looked all right and then I told her I'm like oh I'm gonna walk around and think about it and I'll come back because like I said it just looked a little bit too big so I walked around for a while and then I came back and I was like okay you know what I'm just gonna take it who cares if it's a little big if I just tuck it in my jeans I think it'll be fine so I got it anyway I want to like put it on as if I was really at a show okay here it is I think it's pretty cute it is a tiny bit loose but you can't really tell like if it was like this maybe it's cute. I like it. <laughs> I'm glad I got it. It's very different. I like the fact that it's not your usual Western show shirt. Here's the back of it if you guys want to see. You guys can see. So, show shirt. Check. I also wanted to get a breastplate, an English breastplate, and I actually saw one. It was exactly the one I wanted. Like, it, it came with, like, the wither strap. It looks pretty cool, but it was just too thin. It looked like it would have been really small. Just the leather looked very thin, and the clips were moldy and old, and it just wasn't in too good of a condition, and it wasn't that nice, so I just passed on the breastplate. All right, the next thing on our list was a halter. You guys, there were so many halters. It was just way too overwhelming. I was carrying so many things and I was like you know what I'm gonna pass on the halter because there was just too many to choose from it would have been nice to get another halter because as you guys know Crystal broke her halter when we went on the camping trip if you didn't see that she completely freaked out broke the halter if you guys want to watch that video I'll leave a link down below or I'll put a little eye card up here anyway I never got it fixed so I just wanted to replace it I was just looking into getting another halter but it was just there was too many my hands were full and I just I just passed on the halter so we didn't get the halter this time okay next up Rob told me if I saw any skid boots to let him know and I actually did find a really cool pair. I think they might be a little bit too big, but here they are. These are the Professionals Choice Skid Boots. These are actually for Dooley or Yankee when Yankee starts showing. So far, Dooley's doing great. He's been to two shows now. His third is coming up this weekend. Yeah, we just wanted to get him some skid boots, so I found these. These skid boots are really cool because it's like attached to the whole boot because there are some that they sell that's just the, the skid part and then it's just a strap at the top and a strap at the bottom. I really wanted to find one that was like the actual boot and then just the skid attached to it so I got these these were actually 10 bucks and this is what I didn't negotiate on I was just like okay 10 bucks is fine and they don't have a size the girl said that they might be a size medium but either way they're really big and Dooley's a small he's a little one so I really hope they fit but if they don't I think they'd work perfect for Yankee as well this is what they look like as you guys can see they have the hard plastic right here and then the rest of it is like this leather soft cushion this is what it looks like and they're in really good condition you guys they actually look Look brand new so I think I got a good deal on these all right so now the last thing on my list was actually a saddle blanket this was again something for Dooley for his showing he's doing so good I get so excited there were a couple but most of them were not the average saddle pad size it's just longer than a saddle pad which is kind of weird I don't know what those are for anyway I found this one she actually gave it to me for 10 bucks she was so nice it's so cute I really wanted to find like a blue one. I think Dooley would look really nice in blue, but there weren't any and a lot of the designs weren't that nice. And like I said, some of them were longer than the saddle pad. As you guys can see, this is like the perfect size. It looks like a saddle pad. A lot of them were like this long. Anyway, I got this one. It's in pretty good condition. The white is super white. The red is really bright. That rhymed. She actually had a pile there of a bunch of blankets and pads and everything. She's like, you can take the whole pile for 30 bucks. I don't care. But there wasn't really anything else in the pile that I liked. So I was I was like can I just take this one for 10 and she was like yeah yeah and I took it and I could have just been like
like, hey, can I take this one for five? And I think she would have let me take it as well. But 10 bucks is not that bad. Now, like I warned you guys, I was probably gonna get something that wasn't on my list because like always, you always see something, you know, and you just have to get it. This is what I got. This is a saddle bag. I honestly don't know how I'm supposed to put it on my saddle. I know it goes on the back, but it comes with no attachments except these little holes here. So I don't know if I have to put my own leather pieces or some kind of string or I don't know what. The inside it opens like this and it has two flaps that open. Okay, my camera died, but as I was saying, this is how you open it up. It has the big one and then these two small ones that you just kind of do that. And the inside is actually insulated, which is so cool. It's so big and squishy. You can put like a lunch, water, juice, sandwiches, chips, like literally that's what I'm thinking of doing. You guys know I like taking Crystal on trail rides just alone, me and her. And it'd be so nice to take something like this and have my keys in here, my phone, my vlog camera, some food so I could just stop somewhere and like have a little picnic with her how cute would that be it's really dirty and moldy and, and like it stinks and needs a good clean but for five bucks I don't mind cleaning <laughs> that's it you guys that is the last thing that I got at today's yard sale it was seriously epic it was the coolest yard sale ever I'm so glad I got there on time this time I did good today and I met a subscriber which was awesome so thank you so much for saying hi I loved meeting you it was the best thank you so much for coming along with me I feel like we went on a shopping spree together I hope you enjoyed and don't forget forget about your yard sales you guys you don't have to go and buy brand new tack all the time definitely check out yard sales or facebook groups used stuff is fine too not everything has to be brand new this looks brand new doesn't it i feel like it does but anyway thank you guys so much for watching i hope you enjoyed please don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and if you're new to my channel what's up my name is cindy valentina nice to meet you <laughs> i would love if you subscribed all you gotta do is just click that red subscribe button down below and that is it also leave me a comment down below if you think I did good at negotiating. Do you think I should have negotiated a little bit more? Do you think it was a steal? Let me know. <laughs> and also let me know what your favorite thing was. Honestly, so far, I think my favorite might be one of the saddle pads. I can't decide which. I have to see what they look like on Crystal, but I think that might be my favorite. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.